guys, welcome back to the 31 days of Halloween. Today we have a glam Halloween look in case you're just not wanting to do the most. So we're going to be starting with the ColourPop X Shayla Perception Palette. And I'm going to be using one of these orangey kind of transition colors in my crease. Then going back in with green. We just put that down so that everything would blend nicely and there would be a nice gradient. But realistically, we're going to be covering most of that first color up, which is A-OK. -okay. It's all about the blend. So I'm using a bunch of random products to create this look. So feel free to use whatever you have in your collection, but as always, I will have a product list down below in case you are curious. So we're just working on that outer third, making sure it is nice and blended. Definitely take your time on the blend. When you're using bright colors like this, you really don't want any choppy eyeshadow. So going back into the Perception palette and picking up that darker green color, it is a shimmery color, and normally I would not put a shimmer straight into the crease, but since we're using such bold colors today, it actually adds a really really nice effect so next we're going in with a concealer brush and just a little bit of concealer and we're going to be cutting the crease For this look, I kept it really close to the inner third. I really didn't take it out very far. I just wanted enough of a base to make the next shadow really pop. So take your time on this. Make sure both eyes are even and you'll get a really, really cool effect. Now for the star of the show, we're going back into the full spectrum palette and picking up that lime green shade. And just with a little flat brush, I'm gonna be packing this on right where we placed the concealer. And as you can see, that just really made that lime green pop. So next we're gonna be working on blending that color into the rest of the shades. I'm just picking up a little bit more of that darker green color we started with and then kind of bringing that around where we cut the crease. That also gave it a cool effect. And then I decided for a little bit of a pop of, <laughs> I'm talking talking like we're doing neutrals, um, a little bit more of a pop of color. I decided to do a little purple on the lower lash line. I've been so adventurous with purple lately, you guys. I felt like it complemented this green look really well. So just a very deep royal purple color on a little pencil brush, and I'm just running that along my lower lash line. The last shade I was using was a matte purple. I decided I wanted a little bit of a shimmer, so I went into the Bling Boss palette and picked up that purple on the same brush, and I'm just running that over the previous purple that we used to give a little bit of shimmer to the look since the top was so matte. So I'm now going in with some eyeliner, and I do believe I did a wing on this look. I just felt like if we're gonna go big, we gotta go all the way. So we gotta wing it out, and then we're gonna move on to lashes. I'm sure this will come as no shock to any of you, but I am using my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. This is just one of my all-time faves. It just works exactly like it should. No fallout, no little flakies, no weird stuff. It just applies and stays all day. Just love this stuff. Okay, now on to the rest of my face. I'm using my Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I pulled this out for a throwback tutorial not that long ago, and I haven't been able to put it down. It's so good, you guys. If you have that, definitely dig it out and use it again. So for the highlight, we're going in with the Moonchild palette. I was trying to figure out what highlight was right for the look, and I ended up going with Blue Ice, which is the lightest one in the palette. Even though it says blue ice, it really gave me like strong purple vibes. So I applied a ton of this, like a lot, a lot, because I really wanted this look to pop. I wanted that to complement the purple on the lower lash line. And I just went to town. So I put it literally everywhere I could find 
to put a highlighter on my face. And then to set it down and make it look a little nicer, I went in with some setting spray and then pushed that into the skin with my Beauty Blender. And now onto the lips. I'm using a Flower Beauty lip liner. I forget the exact name, but I'll look it up and it'll be down below. And um, of course, overlining my lips because I had to do the most and go full glam. Then for the actual lipstick, I'm just using the MAC Viva Glam 2, which looked really, really good with that lip liner. It's kind of like a cool mauve color. This is one of my all-time favorite nude-ish shades. So that's what I went for. And then to lighten it even a little bit more, I was just using this lip gloss. I forget the name off the top of my head, but this is the one that I Love Sata E and Dose of Colors just recently did a collab on. And I have not been able to put this gloss down. It is so beautiful. And that actually completes the look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you found it helpful. If you're looking for a fun Halloween look, but you're not wanting to like dress up, this would be perfect for that. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow.